On the back of that pag-as forecast, Cagayan is now bracing for intense rainfall from Typhoon Kiko. Joining us live on the ground, all the way from Claveria in Cagayan, is Jenny Dongon to give us the latest. Good morning, Jenny. Could you give us the situation over there? Yes, Charles, right now we're here in Balisteros, Cagayan, and currently we're experiencing dark clouds to light rains. But as early as now, residents are preparing for the expected onslaught of Typhoon Kiko. This was the scenario early morning scene that we witnessed in Claveria, Cagayan. Fisher folks gathering at the shore for the arrival of fish catch. As soon as the bankas arrived, everyone helped out and immediately hauled today's harvest. Because of Typhoon Kiko, fishermen are only allowed to fish until noon today. Local social and welfare develop development has prepared more than 3,000 packs of assorted canned goods and almost 3,600 packs of rice for residents. As part of preemptive safety measures against Typhoon Kiko, Cagayan Governor Manuel Mamba has also ordered suspension of work and classes in all levels effective today. Suspension will remain in effect until lifted by the governor's office. Charles, as Pagasa reported, many areas here in Cagayan is now under signal number three and two. And uh, Governor Mamba appeals to residents to uh, take advantage of the school and work suspension to secure their homes, harvest their crops. As you can see at my back, farmers are starting to harvest their crops and also for a possible evacuation. Pagasa, or province of Cagayan, is now praying for a zero casualty from the onslaught of Typhoon Kiko. Charles. Thank you for those updates and stay safe, Jenny. That was Jenny Dongon reporting live from Cagayan.